Miller makes welding equipment and, and equipment for all walks of life. So we have equipment that you might use at your home to work on a car. We make equipment that goes to large companies like Caterpillar or John Deere for making large equipment. Uh, we make equipment that's used to build ships, to build the infrastructure of our country. So welding equipment that really helps put the world together. Sustainability existed here long before it was ever talked about or really even a term that we all knew. It really emerges out of a core philosophy that we have that, that is 80-20. 20% of the products that we make here at Miller Electric typically represent about 80% of either our revenue or profits. It's not necessarily that clear cut. But what it means is if you focus more on the 20% that creates the greater value, you ultimately exponentially change the value that you can create. But I can absolutely tell you that we know that we've saved millions of dollars through our sustainability initiatives. We have a lot of green initiative products where we're reducing our customers' carbon footprint into, the, into their market and the things that they do. Frankly, we're kind of ahead of the curve there in that they may not be asking us specifically for things, but we make a lot of engine-driven products and we are, we are creating products that are going into the market that are eliminating fuel use and eliminating emissions. Part of our plan as far as getting a good payback on this ice house is to get a, a longer life cycle out of the system. So to that point, we do a lot of maintenance on there to keep everything fresh. And what it's doing is at night it's making ice, and then during the day we run water over that to, uh, to provide the chilling power to air condition the plant. Freon, I th we've learned, or we even knew at that point, was not good for the environment. This system we've got here uses ammonia. Ammonia is a substance which occurs naturally in the environment. Uh, it doesn't hurt the atmosphere. Uh, so that was one of the reasons we chose it. The other thing is that it, when we make ice at night, we're making it in what's kind of called off-peak time. The power company is getting a lot of demand for electricity from 10 in the morning until 10 at night. And especially during air conditioning time when everybody's got their, their air conditioning on to feel comfortable. So. What this does is, is it makes it off-peak, it makes it uh, uh, also a cheaper way for us to run, to tell you the truth, because the power companies charge a premium for that peak usage of electricity. You'll find recycling center spots where they can take their paper, cardboard, plastic, pop cans, bottle, plastic bottles that are recyclable and they, there's a drop-off point. We also have uh, cardboard recycling where we have balers that each person takes their scrap cardboard to and throws it into the baler. Last year alone in our paper recycling program here at Miller we saved over 8,000 trees. Like other organizations that are on sustainability initiatives, we have looked at our light bulbs, our ballasts, our air compressing systems here, and we have done changeouts. Uh, we have changed, and those initial changeouts have saved over a million kilowatts of energy uh, on an annual basis that we do not need anymore. We've gone with environmentally friendly light bulbs that have less mercury in them. We do do 100% recycling of all those bulbs. We've done a study of our air compressing systems, and by elimination, of the pinhole leaks within the air systems, we can actually substantiate th uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of savings on an annual basis. 100% of our oil is recycled here. So even though we had a 20% emission reduction, at Miller Electric, 100% of all oil and oil water mixtures does get energy recovered. We went from uh, uh, volatile organic compounds or spray painting uh, all of our parts to a powder coating. The powder coating is a, a much more functionally and, and friendly compound uh, that allows uh, us to actually completely eliminate any hazardous air pollutants that would come off a of traditional spray paint. But here at Miller Electric, because we do use fuels, we are using electricity, uh, we are using heating and cooling systems, we do have a carbon signature. Uh, over the last, from 2008 to 2009, we are actually able to reduce our carbon signature by over 20 percent, which equates to roughly about 351 tons of carbon that we didn't emit from year to year. Most people understand uh, that we all have carbon emissions, but most people don't understand that industry is probably not one of the biggest contributor of those carbon emissions. At home, we can actually emit over 1,500 tons of carbon from a single family house. 
we're talking about reduction of 351 tons uh, of carbon emission or carbon dioxide emission from this particular plant. Uh, one individual, by understanding that they can make an impact, will make a difference long term environmentally.